Good morning, baby Bobby. Hey, hey, quiet, quiet. Everyone say good morning to Bobby in the comments right now. Bobby, I think you're still cold. Let's defrost. Hey, hey, quiet. Let's defrost you a little bit more, dude. Yeah, that's right. You enjoying that? Here, let me just, let me push you in so you're a little bit a little warmer. You know, I'm, I'm starting to like buddy more and more. Isn't that right, buddy? Okay, well, in this one, I want to make the episode mostly about the spirit extractor, which we got to see a little bit of in the last episode. Uh, I'm hoping we also get into trinkets today. And I know how we can get w at least one free trinket is uh, from this quest right here. That's it. I'm going to muzzle you. So, oh my gosh, we have 24 kiwis. That's crazy. Let's go ahead and build this artifact tome. Nice. So we do have the two black chromatic steel from the last episode. And I think I'm going to keep rolling these until we get black chromatic steel because we've been getting some good ones. But yeah, the quests are super important because then you can get rare resources like black chromatic steel ingots uh, pretty easily. And I found out what the artifact tome does. All right. So this is what it does. I'm pretty sure you just put it down and it shows you the puzzle, quote unquote puzzle of all of the artifacts that you can get. Oh, we must have cleaned it, completed our quest right here. So let's grab that. Then we can uh, see what this one is. So it's this one right here. So we can just slap it right there. And we need all 25 of these so that we can go into the final vault and that's how you beat the game. So that's what the artifact tome does. That's what artifacts are. And you get these artifacts from completion chests. Um. Yeah, I, I know that you can get them from any of the completion chests. You can also get them from artifact fragments, which these are new. So it looks like you can also get a portion of an artifact without getting the full artifact and then put them together to make a unidentified artifact and then you identify it. And you can get doubles. You can get double artifacts. So you're probably gonna have to get more than 25 to fill this whole thing in. So I'll leave that there. Also, these pillars look great. And the next quest is for the spirit extractor. Right, we just completed this, we got some gold. And the way that this works, if you didn't catch it in the last episode, is if you die in the vault, you will get a spirit right next to your bed. And then you can put the spirit in here and then buy it back with coins. So I actually want to show everyone that. I'm gonna need a crystal to do it. So let's go ahead and make this crystal really quick. Bang, dude, these vaults are getting mighty hungry. Booga, 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 booga. Now I think if I, Take everything off and go into the vault and unalive. It should be really inexpensive for me to buy myself back. So when you go to the spirit extractor, there's going to be, it's going to cost you different amounts of gold to buy yourself back. And it's going to be all the items in the vault that you had on you. And depending on what you have on you, it'll cost more or less gold. So if I put all my stuff right there, I need this crystal and I go in here. Hello, how are you doing? Good day to you, sir. Hey, stop, stop. Hey, hey, that wasn't very nice of them. Okay, so I died. I wake up here and I have none of my stuff, which if I had stuff on me, uh, there would be stuff to buy back. And all I can do is take this spirit. I can throw him around a little bit, you know, tell him what's up. Be like, hey, why did you die? Give him a hard time about it. Yeah, we can pick him up as long as we have our offhand open and then we can throw him. Oh, <laughs> we can take him over to the spirit extractor, place him down. And then it wants me to buy back, it wants me to buy him back with gold. And it's going to show you everything that you lost in the vault right here. And then you can just buy it back by putting three gold in there and buying him. Okay, I'm pretty sure we get this guy to live with us permanently now. Where should we put him? Oh my gosh, look at him. He's just being a little creeper over there. <laughs> I wonder if we could just get a bunch of these in our world. It would take a lot of crystals to do that though. Okay, moving on. Let's get a trinket, baby. You don't get these until after level 20. And you can find them in ornate chests. Now, I know they're really uncommon in ornate chests, so they're they're rare. And But now you can also get them from completion chests as well. But essentially, there's red and blue, so those are just two different spots. Uh, I think you can have only one red and one blue, and they go in these slots right here. All right, let's get this guy completed. Ooh, let's roll this first trinket. Ooh, 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 ooh. Hey, what does this mean? I think this one is for luck. It's a red trinket. Oh, it's for increasing lucky hit. Dang, I don't even have a lucky hit build, so we can't even use this right now. I'm gonna store this in here for now. 
I'm going to take out all this other junk that uh, is not actually good. At level 20, we can also get into dungeons now. Wow, it's going to give us a free pog. That's awesome. I want to run some vaults and I want to try and get more trinkets, honestly. And hopefully we don't have to use the spirit extractor again. Oh my gosh, Bobby, you look so cozy back there, dude. Why are you still a child? I don't get it. All right, you just want some brick house and some gravel. And give me that crystal. Uh, I think I'm done running the plunder's pearls crystals for a while because I want to level up. One diamond horse armor. I think I actually have one of those. Oh my gosh. All right, eat that. Give me that. I mean, the, the reward was, eh. The road was, eh, you know, but this one's actually pretty good, but I don't have that much iron and I don't really want to mine for it. Complete any vault for two black chromatic steel? Bruh. You know, we'll just do this one too, because uh, it's the same objective. Oh, oh, we can't. Oh, wait, there we go. There we go. There we go. Now we can take it. It's the same objective for all this stuff. Holy guacamole. Here, we'll take that. Thank you very much. Pants are actually good, but they're scrappy. And I know one of you in the comments said that I could upgrade to this one, and I totally can, 100%. Uh, I don't think I need to right now, because we have still all this extra room for any overflow. And right now, I think we have like four stacks worth of... Yeah, stack multiplier of four. So I will do that. Just uh, I don't really want to do that yet. Also, I need to go name the villagers. We're going to name them Bill and Ted, because uh, one of you guys in the comments wanted me to do that as well. I'm also going to turn all of our Benny boys into regret orbs. I'm going to munch these down and we are going to rethink this a little bit. I don't think I need this and we'll take a level off of here. I would really like to max this out and then we can go ahead and start specking into dash. It'll get our cooldown down to 12 seconds, which I care about the cooldown here because I am going to have to start using just my chest plate and the elytra. I'm going to see how long I can go with still using the elytra, but it's getting to a point where I just can't be using the elytra in all the vaults. I mean, like, all the time in all the vaults, you know what I mean? Oh, I have a ton of regret orbs in here. I forgot about that. All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get this down. Two more. So now we're at 40% at full health. And we're going to make dash every 10 seconds. Oh, I still need to get stone fall. But I guess I have buckets of water for that for now. All right, let's rip her. All right, so we have a scav of vault, and I do really want to complete it because we have both of our bounties. Uh, I also want to go for ornate. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and go for all this stuff, which it looks easy enough. The red scrolls are probably going to be the hardest thing. The rest we are not even going to have to think about. And then we just go for ornate after that. I think that's a good plan. What's up, dude? I do feel like the dash charges up really fast. I just feel like I'm using so much mana now, and I can't recover it. So I don't know. I kind of feel like, <laughs> I mean, I wish this wasn't the case, but I'm going to have to play this same way I've always played it, or you just get a really powerful sword and just swing at everything. You know, I was trying to go like a mage route, which was really, really fun early game, but now it just feels, feels harder to do that, which, you know, is fine. I feel like later on though, uh, we will be able to make a build like this. That does make more sense. Uh, once we get, you know, more points and we're actually able to build it out, we're still so early game. Oh man, there is a dungeon here. I'm not going to be able to not open it. All right, let's open it up. Let's see. Hard? Am I going to be able to do this? I don't even think I'm going to be able to do this. Let's uh, let's see what, what happens when we go in here. Oh, jeez, there's spiders. How hard do they hit? Oh, they don't actually hit that hard. Uh oh, I spawned in some other ones and I don't know where. Oh, oh, what's good? All right, come here, you little guy. Oh, oh, it's the champion. Am I going to be able to? Oh, <laughs> Oh my gosh! Ah! Oh no! No! <laughs> Wait, how come it gave me XP? Oh, that's weird. I would have thought that it would have given you zero. All right, well, we get to go over the spirit extractor. Hey, what's up, dude? <laughs> Jeez. All right, put this guy in here. How do I... Oh no, I chucked him again. I'm so bad at chucking him. Is our other guy still here? Oh my gosh, there he is. The ghost of our past. All right, it wants 14 gold. I think we got that. Nice. Take my money. I want my stuffs. Well, that, that stings a little bit. You know what I'm thinking? Instead of giving up on this build completely, let's just throw in mana shield. I'm confused. I thought it gave you mana, but it looks like it might take mana. Wow. 
Why? Why does it take away my mana? Oh, I get it. It redirects it to the mana pool. So it takes the damage from the mana pool. Oh no, I don't know if I have enough orbs to correct what I did now. Damn, now I'm just stuck with two of my things in mana. Okay, so here's what I decided. I decided that the mana shield sucks. I unlearned as much as I could in that. I took the levels back and heal because our main issue is uh, not being able to heal enough. Our other issue is not having enough mana, so I put all the rest of the levels in sorcery. And I decided what I'm going to do is I'm going to have Archon on all the time, like we normally do. But I'm going to go in and actually start whacking stuff with my sword as well. Um, I should also probably always have my chest plate on. And I think I need to upgrade my vial. So when we get the chance, we should uh, get this, which is two knowledge stars to get this and i think this gives you maybe six health or eight health or something yeah it'll heal you six hit points which is uh three hearts instead of two is what i have right now i think i've also decided that chest plate is my default and i only switch to elytra when i need it all right we made this crystal but uh let's rip it i kind of hope i get another scav vault dang so we got elixir which is good because uh that'll help with our levels because yeah i love how much xp elixirs give oh, i feel so much slower having to hit stuff like, actually hit it. What's up, dog? It, it feels good. Like, my mana and my health never get super low with my current strategy, but it feels so much slower. Like, uh, I don't like how much slower it feels. So I think we just got to rebuild back up the build. Build back up the build. Yes, exactly. Let's see how we do in this this time, because uh, last time I did not do well. I also removed these structures last time I was in here, so I thought I had to. Oh! Yeah, okay. That was, uh, that was a little bit less sketch that time. I wonder how much XP these guys give. Like, I wonder if they're worth fighting. Oh! Hello? Hello? Oh, nothing there. Bro, I'm finding it so hard to actually try and use my sword. Like, it's just so much easier to run into things. And it's so much more fun. I gotta find a way to make this build work. That's that's what I've decided. Whoa, what is this POI? This thing's sick. I've never seen this one before. Oh, I just realized I haven't seen any lodestones yet. I think at level 20, there might be less lodestone and less of the runes. Okay, guys, I have decided that I was just being a baby before. <laughs> I was spoiled because the ability was so good. I didn't have to think at all. I could just run into these guys and not care at all. And now it's like I just have to put a tiny bit of thought into how I fight stuff. And um, yeah, no, it's been going a lot better. Which uh, The Archon still helps like a lot and I still love using it. It just does so much DPS. It's nuts. Oh... Okay, fine. Let's go see if we can get another block of netherite here. Oh my gosh, look at all that ancient debris. What the heck? Yeah, 10 ancient debris. Wow. Please give me a lodestone. I still haven't seen a single one yet. <gasps> oh, I got so excited. I thought that was a lodestone. <laughs> Come on. Oh, oh, there we go. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. All right, let's loot some rooms. Oh, I heard a little, little spawnage back here. Where is that? Do you literally, are you literally just supposed to dig into the walls to find these things? Hello? Hey, heck yeah. Nice little hidden room with a bunch of gilded. I mean, I would love ornate because I want some trinkies. Little trinky boys. But, uh, this'll do. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Give me some time, baby. I think we still have some stuff we need to loot here. Is that it? I think that was everything. All right, let's get out of here with five seconds remaining. What's up, dog? How you doing? Heck yeah. Oh, finally, we stayed alive. <laughs> oh, you know what? I just remembered. It's only going to let us complete one of those bounties at a time because they're the same one. Oh, wow. That sucks. That's okay. Let's just keep rolling this one until we get more black chromatic um, steel. Actually, I might have to do this one just because I have so much vault stone. How much does it want? 300. Okay, so we got the 10 ancient debris. That's pretty cool. We got a bunch of catalyst fragments that we get now at level 20, which those are 
We're saving those up for something super cool that we'll get into later in the series. We got a ton of carbon. Wow, we got so much Laramar. Look at that. That's wild. Dude, we got a ton of Beniatite, which we need because I need to change our build a little bit. Hey, we got a Reach and Copiously Jewel. Only 22 size. That's pretty good. Uh, <laughs> this is how I'm going to cope with me getting too many jewels and not knowing what to do with them all. Like here, here's our jewels right here. This whole thing is full, right? We're just going to go like this. It's fine. You're fine. You're, you're not in the way at all. You're okay. Hey, we got a sparkle team. I didn't even see that. That was a cheeky little sparkle team. All right, let's open up our completion chest because that's where a lot of the good stuff comes from. I'm really hoping for regret orbs. Great. I need some of those. <laughs> Kiwis, cool. And a bunch of vulgar. Is that a lemon? Dude, that's a lemon. Let's go. The lemon gives you 30 seconds to the vault timer. We got a bunch of gear to roll too. How many regret orbs did we get? Just one? All right, let's open this up. I forgot what was in here. Oh, yeah, black chromatic uh, steel. Heck yeah. I do a bunch of Beniatite, too. Oh, yes, that's what I love to see. Okay, let's get rid of this um, this ability that I absolutely hate. Yeah, this guy right here. I don't want you. And here's what we're going to do. We're going to go from 5 to 6, 60% increase in mana regeneration, right? And we're going to take Stonefall. Both levels, so it's 100% reduction. We go like this, right? Bam, right? No damage. It's great. Perfect. Now we don't have to really carry the water bucket. I'm still going to do it in case I need to get somewhere. Like it helps you climb up stuff as well, you know? And I think we can actually save our Benny boys because I am pretty happy with where our build is right now. There is one thing that I realize I want to do. We have this shield and I do think that we should start using a shield, especially if we can get up to 18% block, block chance with this guy. Dang, so I was playing and uh, I realized I wasn't recording, but essentially what I did was I enchanted up this shield because I think for our build, we are going to want a shield because it brings our defense up to 57%, so 10% better, and it gives us 20%, about 20% block chance. So one out of five hits is going to get blocked. Now that is going to bring down our ability power from 65 to 51, but our Archon's still going to be able to do 41 damage per strike which is crazy also <laughs> open two bounty crates one was for the polished vault stone that we were smelting up the other one was for netherite so we are running very low netherite ingots i had to break down the netherite block to uh to pay up the 13 netherite ingots so good thing we got that uh and one of the bounties gave us a bunch of emeralds which we were then able to use to enchant up our sword and our shield Cool. so now now we're all caught up all right i say we get another crystal going and try out the new build dude i really want this fundamental focus i did see that this was in the bounty table so 11 beniatite yeah let's do that and then this one's still complete and evolved i forgot that we couldn't do both of those in one run okay so we got some leather cobblestone a sugar cane coal funny enough the only one i had an issue with was sugar cane i just planted all my sugar cane down there now, if I had more regret orbs, what I would do is come in here and take Chworker. And then we could go down to this one right here. And then we'd be able to grow more sugarcane pretty fast. And then we could regret it and then get our points back. But I don't have any regret orbs. So if I take it, I'm going to be stuck with it until we get another regret orb. We do have two skill points, though. How many levels do you think I could get if I ate all of these right now? Could I get four? Could I take a level in speed? Oh my gosh. Okay, let's find out. <laughs> nope. <laughs> All right, maybe we just hold off. We run this vault. We come back and then we take speed because I think speed is going to be super helpful. And I want to make one of these seals again. Yeah, one of these ones. Okay, here's your sugar cane, sir. One fresh crystal, please. Thank you so much. Yum, 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 yum. And let's make this an elixir vault. Let's get some XP. All right, cool. Well, we'll try the right eye this time. Hopefully it's it's good luck. I'm really excited to try out the changes we made. Oh, are we going to take on this challenge room? I think we are. <laughs> Dude, it's too quiet in here. Why is it so quiet? How come I don't hear any mobs? It's really freaking me out. All right, let's see how this works out for us. Hey, we've been blocking some hits, so that's good. I'm really confused why our uh, lightning isn't um hurting the tnt whatever i guess i shouldn't question things like that i should just you know let it be oh look i can shock him from above that's fun oh yeah that's the jackpot over there oh yes 
Well, it's it's getting me. It's it's gonna take a while for me to get used to not having the elytra on all the time. I feel spoiled now. Oh my gosh, our elixir's almost full after that one room. Oh my god, we got one of these boys right here, lodestone. Heck yeah. You know this uh this build feels good again. Uh, it's mostly because I am actually wearing a chest plate. <laughs> oh wait, I forgot that I took stone fall. I don't need to be doing water bucket clutches. Change is hard. <laughs> Change is really hard. Oh, check this out with the stone fall. Bam! I launch all them away. So that's super cool. Uh, I do like this new build. I feel like my health is not an issue at all anymore, and now my mana is an issue. I think my mana is less of an issue if I take people out with my sword instead of my, uh... <laughs> oh my gosh. Look at this. Oh, this is quite the cheese, isn't it? Yes, come here. Come here, my pretties. Yes. Oh, that's awesome. As long as I have the high ground now, Anakin. Or is that how it goes? I don't know. <laughs> but as long as I have the high ground, um, yeah, I'll get them. I'll, uh, I'll get the shot off on them. Oh, also, yeah, I try and get up to these guys by just launching up to them, eating myself up there, and then just putting a water bucket. That way, if I fall back down, I'll be able to just ride the water bucket back up. Because these guys are kind of hard to, like, land on perfectly, especially if you don't have uh, the elytra. Oh, what's up, dude? You ready? Bam! Oh, dude, I need to find Benny boys. Yeah, I need to just look for ore rooms. Dude, I can't pass up on ornate. I want trinkies. Trinkies? I think the the rarity, like the chances of getting a trinket are so rare from those. But, you know, you can't pass them up. Oh, I think the problem is my dash is costing a lot of mana now. And I increased it so that I would be able to do it more often. Hmm. I may need to think about toning down the, uh, the dash. Um, excuse me, sir. Rude. How rude of you. We got another pylon here. We gotta remember, we have a pylon in the second room as well. I'm gonna mark this one, but just note the pylon, the, uh, the lodestone is in the second room. Whoa, what's that up there? Is that a puzzle room? What is that? I think that's a puzzle room. Oh, oh. Okay, so these rooms are an Omega room. Let's get all of these. Hopefully we get some puzzle pieces. What you want to do is you want to collect puzzle pieces like this. There's red, blue, green, and yellow ones. And then there's a puzzle at the top that I'll show you. But first we need to collect all of the puzzle pieces. I think that was it. And then am I able to reach these ones? I can if I just go like that. Alright, so all I got was the blue and the yellow, and that's like rare and common. And we need these, um, what is that, epic? Yeah, well we need the red rarity, which is I think epic. But anyways, we collect these, let's just put them in here so that we have them for future, and we can get rid of the rest, the rest of the stuff was junk. And then we continue looking for an ore room. <laughs> this one might be an ore room, based off this structure, it's all tight and cramped in here. But let's see, oh it's not. I see ornate though. Can't pass that up. Here's my new strategy. I get the high ground, and then I jump down on them. <laughs> it seems to work actually really well. Oh! This is an Omega ornate room. Heck yeah. Oh my gosh, I know it's not ores, but we can get a trinket from this, possibly. Maybe. Hopefully. There's, I think, four different levels, because there's the top one, or the, the main one. And then there's two down here. This is one floor down. And there's gonna be one more floor down. And then there's gonna be at, like the top of the castle level. I might actually take all this wheat as well. Look at all these ornates. See any trinky boys? Nope, I don't see any trinky boys yet. If I was smart, I'd probably take that clock and whatever this is. Speaker box. I don't know what they do though. Oh, bro, can I take this? Why? I want it. Dang, I only got a minute to find a lodestone. Wow, I've dug myself quite the hole here. Um, but I think we have one close to here, just one room west. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get to the top of this one. 35 Kiwis, and I have a good amount of health. Give me all these ornates though, look at these boys! Alright, I gotta get out of here. If this is not the Wild West room, then there should be one in this room right here. Oh no, I don't see it. Oh no, is it in this one? Oh, I see, I see, I see, I see the purple. Heck yeah, look at it. I even left the cake for us on the way, heck yeah. <gasps> All right, let's get out of here. All right, let's skadoodle. Hey, let's go. 34,000 XP, 140 chest looted. Pretty good, pretty good. Level 28, we have five skill points, holy guacamole. Yeah, let's definitely spend one on speed before we change our minds. 
And we have one more. I'm super tempted to go into Hunter. Let's save that. Either that or Vein Miner. Vein Miner would be good too. Let's claim this bounty. Heck yeah, we're gonna get more emeralds. We need those. Uh, Benny boys are still coming up. We can do the Vault Dwellers. Is it worth a mystery egg and some knowledge essence? I'm not really sure. I'd rather get a better one. Submit 11 H debris. Oh, sign me up, dude. Heck yeah, I'm so happy that we were looting those uh, those things now. The bucket in that one room. What's that room called? The construction room or something? All right, we got some crates to open, but let's do our pooches first. Oh my gosh, look at all of that carbon. Let's lock that guy in. But yeah, that is a ton of carbon. Holy guacamole. Oh, we got a ton of gear to roll. Let's look at our... Ooh, ooh, that's a good one. For when we start getting the strong... The strong chests? Yeah, this is the strong chest right here. It, it's a little bit different and it takes a little bit to break and it just breaks uh, as a wooden chest would. So it just happens, you break it once, then it breaks all at once. So that's gonna be good for that because it has the mining speed to break it faster and gilded affinity and it's size level 10, which is cool. This is gonna be good for a vanilla tool. This is also gonna be good for that same tool because it has the ornate and the mining speed. Cool, so those are, those are some pretty good uh, jewels. And then we filled up pretty much everything in here. Okay, so let's uh let's see what we have in here. Ooh, you know what? That mana is looking real nice. Our wand has lucky hit and ability power now. The ability power level is even higher than it is. It's 11 to 20 now, which is crazy. Oh my god, our prefix can go up to 12 attack damage now. Yeah, nothing super good. This the swords are pretty good because look at that. That's 16 attack damage. All right, let's open up our chest, our completion chest. Did we get any regret orbs? That's that's really what I want here. I'm not sure. Let's just pick it all up. Unidentified relic. These seem to be really rare. Do we have any other ones in the dragon set? No, they're all from different sets right now. None of the jewels were really great, but let's go ahead and see if any of these are spectacular. We did get a legendary roll on this helmet, but it's just for increased area of effect. The only thing that that would affect is our... Um, our stone feet our stone fall because it'll blast the enemies away the radius in which that effect will happen would be larger nothing else is super good all right let's open these up kind of forgot what we were doing these for oh emeralds beniotite cool 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 did we just get omega leggings oh my gosh they have 14 armor what's heroes landing wow the ability power is trash on these but other than that they're really good heroes landing uh when you land it just makes that area of effect deal more damage or deal damage. Mm, yeah, I'm not really interested in that. Wow, that's that's dope though. That's our first Omega piece of gear. Uh, I don't I don't really want to put it on, but that's cool. For now, since these are garbage to me, we'll just put them there. I didn't know that they're Omega pants that have really bad ability power. I did also see this helmet. But I really want mana regen. You know what? Actually, I am okay with this. I said we we switch over to the lion's head. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Look at this dude. Oh my gosh, I'm a lion, bro. I also like how in this view you can kind of check out your, your stuff. Like, look at, it's a really cool model for a helmet. Hey, you want to see something funny? What's up, Bobby? How you doing? Um, I hope you know how to swim, dude. Oh, we, oh! <gasps> Oh, 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 he's alive. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought, I thought we, I thought he was dead. I thought he was gone. Holy cow. Whew. Buddy, let's get you some food. Come here. Do you like raw mutton? Oh, you do. Good boy. I gave you an extra one because I like you and I feel bad. I feel bad that, um, I yeeted you. I promise, I promise you that I might not do that again. Wait. I didn't know dogs could do that. That's crazy. If you shift click them, they do that apparently. What's up, dog? Oh yeah, I also found this sword. Dude, this sword's crazy. Look at, it's a big Chungus sword. It's, it's just huge. What's the model called? Gladius. So we went from 23.5 to 35.3 to 52.7. So we doubled our damage, our, our damage like this. Dang, this guy is a fast boy too. Crazy. One more thing I want to do, uh, because dash, I think dash is what is using all of our mana. So I'm gonna go like this, and I want to bring our level in dash down. So right there. And I think I'm gonna go full force on this speed build, because, you know me, I love looting. And we're gonna wait till next episode to get that fourth level and take speed. 
once more. But anyways, I'm super excited to get into the vault and test all this stuff out, but we're gonna have to wait till next episode. I had a lot of fun in this one. I hope you did too. I hope you leave a like. I hope you are subscribed and I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye. Oh, by the way, if you made it this far, I'm gonna make a free to play server, Vault Hunter server, where you can play with me. I'm planning on streaming on it as well sometimes. If you want more info about that, join the Discord, okay? The link's down below. Hmm. Hmm. You guys have earned this. Bill and Ted, thank you for your sacrifices. I hope you like your life over here, stuck uh, in your beautiful home. Bye!